All right, let's do some scientific notation. I'm going to take these numbers and write them in scientific notation. When you have a big number, you're going to have a positive power. When you have a very small number, you're going to have a negative power. So I'm going to move my decimal. You don't know where that's at. It's hidden behind the last number there, that last zero. I'm going to move it the number of spaces it needs to go. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The decimal goes right up behind the last number. So now I have 3.48. I should have wrote a little 8 right here to remember my spaces. Times 10. And the number of spaces I move to the decimal is now my power. I'm going to do that again here on this one. Count my spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, write a little 9 here so I don't forget. So this one's 3.48 and times 10 to the 9th because I moved it 9 spaces to get it up behind the 4 and in, behind the 3 and in front of the 4. Okay, for a decimal one that's really small, I'm going to move the decimal back right here between the 7 and the 2. I'm going to go until I get it behind the very first number I come to. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. I'm going to write 7 so I don't forget it. Now I'll write my number. 7.25 times 10. And that's going to be to the negative 7th power because it's really small. A negative power means you have a small number. And then on number 4, I need to get it all the way behind the 9, so here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm going to write my 11 so I don't forget it. And that is 9.6 times 10 to the negative 11th power. And we've got those numbers in scientific notation. Shell plus 212.